Hello, 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 and welcome back to Plans on Planning. Here we are in my fitness planner, and a new month means a new set of goals, a new bunch of stuff we want to work with, want to work on all that that goes into fitness. But with the new things, I also want to pay attention to some of the old things that I was doing that actually was working out for me. And that was totally upping my cardio, which turned out to be pretty darn good. But like I said, it's a new month, so we want to do some new things. So of course, we have our wonderful wellness support that I love ever so much and can't live without. Um, and... You're just gonna set it up now I do have a cute little workout challenge um, that I found online that I'm gonna do and it's one of those things where it's like you know do five sit-ups 10 crunches you know one of those so I want to get that on the way as well now what I've done before in the past is I've actually printed it out two sides and then put it on each day I'm not going to do that this time because I want to use this and I want to decorate it to something a bit more. So what I'm using actually is my Just Hustle little stickers and they are super cute. You know, they have the trackers and the meals and the challenges and things like that. So for the challenge that I'm going to do, I know Saturdays are rest days challenge wise. So it's like a plank squat challenge, if memory serves me correct. So it's like, you know, the first week you're doing um, 10 second planks and like 15 squats type thing. And then each week it increases. But I do know that Saturdays are rest days. And Saturdays I do go kind of light on the workout. And that's because I'm running errands as well. So I don't want to have myself like burnt out. But I am challenging myself to kick it up a notch. So that's why I'm going to put some challenges on these days. And on these Saturdays, aside from the normal workout that I do, which is some good old-fashioned cardio, I make sure to get some cardio in on Saturdays, I am going to focus on um, some type of workout or exercise. So like Maybe I might want to do like 100 crunches one day, you know, 100 lunges, 100 squats, something along the nature of that. That's what we're going to do here. And I'm also going to challenge myself to up my yoga game because yoga is something that I truly, truly love, but unfortunately, I've fallen off on and I do feel like kind of bad about that, to be honest. So I want to get some yoga in here, but I'm just trying to figure out in here how to like represent that. Uh, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Here we got four. So I'm going to put yoga on these right here. totally forget so I'm just trying to really up my game because I know with the holidays coming along I do not want to fall off by any means so I want to challenge myself to do more be bigger be better and that is the mindset that I'm taking into the rest of the year so the rest of the year i'm just gonna be like kicking it up several notches just to make sure that i'm not getting fat over the holiday so i'm gonna put yoga in here i like that yeah 
and you know i can write in like a sequence to you to do so you know just some basic yoga sequence like a warrior sequence or um a downward dog sequence you know a pigeon sequence things like that hmm a sun salutation sequence or a sun and moon salutation sequence that mm, now the gears are really turning all right so let's not forget the basis of this workout before we go ahead kicking it up a notch and whatnot um there are some basic things that were working for me during the month of september that i definitely want to carry over into october so on mondays um, granted, I did my weights. I do my weight training um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have um, cardio dance, which is really fun. And I also have glutes and core. So I want to make sure to keep those. And I'm just adding a couple of things to it to mix it up. Because once your body gets used to the workout that you're doing, it stops reacting to it. So it's like, you know, maybe doing five pounds was working, but now that my body's used to the five pounds, I need to up that to 10 pounds. I need to up it to 15 pounds. So that's what we're getting into now. So like I said, there are some things that were working and a lot of it was my cardio that I was doing. So Mondays was Zumba. Tuesdays is cardio dance. Wednesdays is Zumba. This is glutes and core. And then Friday, I kind of freestyle it with um, total body is what I call it. Because I do the weight training and I do the cardio. But all on my own though. So like, I do the weight training Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, some set things that I kind of stick with, but then on Friday, I kind of just freestyle it. Just things that maybe I've come across that I want to try, things like that. So I call it total body. Yeah. So that's what we have going on for the week. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little flair before I keep on writing, just to make sure that we have space for the flavor, basically. So I'm gonna get a couple, just these hydrate. This is a little reminder, because one thing I have noticed, though, is I am definitely not getting enough water in. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, my water intake is like, to the crap. That's just, Let's just be honest about it. My water intake is freaking crap. I want to add a walk. Because I do want to get some outside time for Sunday. I don't want to be in the house the whole day. Where's the fun in that? Let's do some things to get our heart rate up every now and then. So the challenge that I got is nothing like super difficult, nothing super complicated. It's actually really basic and easy to do, but it's still challenging. So I don't want you to think like, uh, she's just doing like 10 crunches a day. Like who can't do 10 crunches? Cause that's very true. Who can't do 10 freaking crunches? Like let's be honest with ourselves. That's not pushing ourselves. But when you add the 10 crunches with, you know, planks and push-ups and things like that, that's where the challenge comes in. To be able to do all of that back-to-back, -back, multiple sets, 
Right, because we're not just doing one or two of them. We're doing multiple sets back to back with necessary breaks in between. So, that's where it comes in at. So this is our total body day. So this gets a number of reps going. But well, we're really focusing on what we're doing. So I'm gonna do some like monthly goals here. So I wanna tally up the number of miles that I got the month as a whole now in doing things i've learned to be very realistic with myself and i do know that sometimes saturdays become cheat days just because i'm running around like a madman and i do know that this saturday specifically this will be a cheat day it is miami carnival and i already know i'm not even trying to eat anything <laughs> worth anything and then the next weekend I'm probably gonna be like running around like crazy because I'm not getting anything done um, Friday Saturday Sunday and even Monday so that means this following Saturday is gonna be like total catch-up like everything I was supposed to be doing proper with my life and I'm just it's gonna be really hard so if I happen to cheat, I'm going to cheat here. Now, like I said, it is Miami Carnival this weekend. Or um, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, five, six and Saturday and Sunday, six and seven being the top days of it all. So this yoga may not necessarily get done, but I will do a ton of walking, especially on the Saturday. So that will be my challenge. Because, you know, you have to be realistic about things. My challenge this day would be like a step challenge. To make sure I'm getting a certain amount of steps in. In the past, I've done like 10,000, 13,000. Yeah, around 13,000 steps. So that's something I'm trying to do or outdo myself this day. So this is going to be my step challenge day. You know, because I really, really, really want to get it out there and really... You know, do something more. Because I think I got 13,000 steps last time around. So, let's get a little more this time and see what we can do with ourselves. Let's get a little more water popping right here. Yeah. I like it. Alright. So, should I write it in my step challenge? I don't know if you can see this. Step challenge uh, on the sixth day, and then I'll just write in how many steps I actually got in. Hopefully, it'll be uh, something to talk about or something to brag about. That would be awesome because I like to do that with my siblings, brag on our steps. You know, it's always a competition when you have brothers and sisters. Hello. Always a competition. Actually, yeah. So this is glutes and core. And this is total body. this eat healthy and then I have this workout complete so that more so goes here when I'm congratulating myself 
for a job well done and sticking to the monthly workout challenge. Oh yeah. So here we go. You know, I'm just adding a little flare. Nothing too over the top. Just enough to say, ooh, it's so cute. You know, something to keep you going, basically. Um, let's do some measurements. And... I'm looking to see if there's like a scale. Is there not? Oh, here we go. And a scale. So I'm gonna put my measurements and my weight at the end of the month. Hoping, fingers crossed, that we made some progress. Make it happen, Captain. Um, stay focused. Let's get to writing in some things. So we have our Zumba. This is my Zumba. And Zumba is actually super active, very fast paced, and I invested in a sweat vest. So it's like I'm a walking sauna basically when I do my Zumba classes. So that high paced cardio really does pay off. All right, and there we go. Here is our month. So, got a lot to do and a month to do it in. So, I am definitely up 
to the challenge. Um, I'm going to add in the notes column, you know, my challenge and some specifics of the challenge, like the workouts to use, what week one is, week two, week three, week four, to make sure I am on track. And then at the end of the month, I want to write a couple of milestones down. Um, so I want to make sure I get my step challenge in for the 6th and the 7th, to be honest. But the 6th is really the day where it's a lot of walking going on. So I'm hoping to get at least 13,000 steps. Um, then I want to put in my miles that I did, you know, take my measurements down and also my end month weight. To make sure that everything is actually paying off and I'm staying on track. That's the most important thing, to stay on track with everything. And also, to not give up. So, granted, you set some goals out for yourself. But, you know, if your goals aren't realistic, you can't be mad at yourself for not hitting them. So, we have to make sure that the goals we set are definitely realistic goals that we can actually work towards, that we can actually achieve. And then if we do fall short of them, don't beat yourself up. More so take it as a lesson to see what worked and what didn't work. So the next time around, you can adjust better. But that's enough of my spiel for today. Um, I do thank you for joining me here on Plans on Planning as I got my fitness life together. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment below. Um, and if you feel more comfortable emailing me, you can email me any of your questions, planner or fitness related. If you need any tips, or tricks, meal prep, anything like that, you can check out my website on the road to fitness.com. Um, the link for that is below as well. Um, do not forget to follow me on social media so we can have a good time and laugh and joke together. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm out, guys. Bye.